Now, with your new saxophone, you should get a little um, tub or whatever you call this, a little stick of cork grease. Now, cork grease is a special type of grease for saxophones. It's not like Q20 or oil or, um, for example, Vaseline. It's cork grease that's especially made for corks of saxophones or the neck of a saxophone. So don't just go and put any grease in your saxophone. And all you do is you want to take some of this cork grease, just not too much, just a little bit. Make sure you don't want too much cork grease on here because what happens is the mouthpiece will be really slidey then and it'll move around while you're playing. So you just want a little bit of cork grease to take the edge of it and make sure that it's not too dry when you try and put your mouthpiece onto the saxophone for the first time because if it is too dry and you force the mouthpiece on or off, you can also damage the cork or it wears much quicker, in which case you're going to have to go have a saxophone service and you can replace this cork, which all saxophone players do from time to time. But actually, um, if you look after it well and you, you treat it kindly, it'll, it'll last a really long time. Um, what I also do is I take a little bit of cork crease and I put it on the base of the neck here, just a smidgen especially because it's metal and unlike the cork, which absorbs the grease, the metal, it'll stay there. It doesn't get absorbed really. But that'll really help you when you want to put your mouthpiece on and then the neck onto the sax. So with the neck, what you don't want to be doing is gripping this thing too hard because this is an octave mechanism here, which basically you use while you're playing. And on most saxophones, it's quite fragile. It's got a little spring below it and this little pad needs to align on that little hole there. And if you grab this too tight or you bully it, then what happens is it either loses some of its uh, sort of spring mechanism, its elasticity, or it can become unaligned and that'll make it much harder to play the saxophone because this isn't sealing. So make sure that you're really gentle. You never want to force your saxophone to do anything. So what I would do next is I'll take my mouthpiece without the ligature and I'll just wiggle it onto the neck, okay? You don't want to be jamming it on like this or ripping it off like that. All you want to be doing is just wiggling it on nice and gently so you don't force the saxophone to do anything. You will also notice with my, with my left hand, I'm not actually gripping this really tightly. I'm actually, as much as I can, I'm holding the side of the neck here and although my hand is going over this octave mechanism, I'm not gripping it really tightly. I'm actually holding the tightest part between my fingers on sort of the bare part of the metal. And what you do is you can just easily wiggle on the mouthpiece, let's say till it's about halfway or two-thirds of the way, wherever it feels comfortable for you.